Hello, welcome to another beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Tony Abba and it is my pleasure to welcome you to another brief moment of reflection, a light for the nation. It is the daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. Today, Reverend Father Kelvin Aneto is telling us to develop the fighter's spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of another amazing day. We thank you for the gift of this holy family gathered to hear your word. Inspire us that that word may move us to positive action in our world. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I want us to reflect on the theme, Develop the Fighter Attitude. And for our scriptural passage, let us look at the book of Exodus, chapter 32, from verse 7 to verse 14. Yahweh then said to Moses, Go down at once, for your people whom you brought here from Egypt have become corrupt. They have quickly left the way which I ordered them to follow. They have cast themselves a metal calf, worshipped it, and offered sacrifice to it, shouting, Israel, here is your God who brought you here from Egypt. Yahweh then said to Moses, I know these people. I know how obstinate they are. So leave me now so that my anger can blaze at them and I can put an end to them. I shall make a great nation out of you instead. Moses tried to pacify Yahweh, his God. Yahweh, he said, why should your anger blaze at your people, whom you have brought out of Egypt by your great power and mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say he brought them out with evil intention to slaughter them in the mountains and wipe them off the face of the earth? Give up your burning wrath. Relent over this disaster intended for your people. In verse 14, Yahweh then relented over the disaster which he had intended to inflict on his people. My dear friends in Christ, I have seen many leaders discouraged in the work of ministering to people. I have seen even followers discouraged in the act of followership in discipleship. It is true that a lot of things can discourage us. In our scriptural passage today, even God himself decides to give up on the people and rather give all the blessings to Moses. But we must learn something from the attitude of Moses. Moses was never discouraged. Moses developed a fighter attitude as he led the people of Israel. And Moses would always stand in the breach, in the gap. And he would always intercede on behalf of his people. In other words, to be a fighter, one must develop tough love. Moses had tough love for his people. So even when the people went against God many times, even when they made him repeat this journey up and down the mountain, Moses continued to intercede for them. That is the attitude of a fighter. In one of our songs we say, Heavenly race, I know go tired. Heavenly race, I know go tired. Heavenly race, I know go tired. Oh. So that is the attitude that Christians should have. The tenacity of weeds. Never be discouraged. I remember that line of the song. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. So God is able. And we see that as soon as Moses plays his role, God relents on his plans. And he decides to continue with his people. If God has called you to be a leader, if God has called me to be a leader, in whatever capacity, 
I cannot be discouraged. I must continue to play my role and continue to lead those that God has given to me to lead. We pray for the grace to be able to develop this fighter attitude that we may never be tired of doing good, that we may never be tired of correcting evil through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day today. Reverend Father Kelvin Aneto is of the Catholic Diocese of Uromi in Edo State, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe you have learned how to develop this spirit of never say die, a spirit that will help you achieve what you want to achieve or what you have kept for yourself and the kind of goal you have set for yourself to achieve. And with God on your side, definitely you will come out victorious. If you have questions and you want to share with us, please do not forget to send us a short message on the numbers displayed on your screen or send us an email at ctvnigeria at yahoo.com or better still take advantage of our social media handles facebook youtube and instagram let's further the conversation and let's encourage one another never to give up as you go out today please do not forget to reach out to somebody who is in their need of your support and the good lord will bless you bye for now have a lovely day